Hi everyone, I hope you're doing well. Um, in this video, I'm gonna be talking about just a few new things that I got from Besame, um, the Besame Cosmetics website. I love this brand. I have a real soft spot for Besame, but I hadn't really ordered anything from them in a while. And as I was looking at their website, I was like, wow, they've got so many things I didn't realize they had. One of the things that I'd definitely been meaning to check out were the eyeshadow duos, but then I get on the website and of course I discover a few other things that I was very excited to get also. So if you're not familiar with Besame, they do um, like vintage replica makeup. They're really famous for their lipsticks, for example, and they all will be tied back to a certain year, like the 1962 whatever. They have a lot of different reds, but they have several different shades also. The line is very red heavy, and they are amazing quality. Actually, such long wearing lipsticks, and if you use their method for application, you will get pretty much all they wear out of a cream lipstick. I can link below to a few of the videos I've done on on the brand, and I'll of course link to their website as well if you want to look around. But yeah, pretty much everything they do is based on real makeup and history that they have sampled and duplicated. Also guys, before I get started, I would like to ask you if you pray, if you believe in the power of prayer, could you please pray for my friend Erica? She is a YouTuber and just one of my favorite people, period. A lot of you might watch her channel actually, and she's been going through a lot with um, the health issues of her dog Piper. As any of us know who have been animal owners, it's not just the animal that that's going through something, but that animal's human who feels so deeply for them goes through so much as well. And I just watched her latest video the other day and I thought, oh my gosh, I wish I could give her a hug. She is just the best person and she's going through a lot. As a result of her doggy Piper, she's a super tough little doggy because she's made it through some very difficult situations, but it's been a very tough year for Erica and I'll link to her video down below if you want to hear more about um, what she's gone through. She also incorporated a makeup haul into that video, bless her heart. But you know, ever since I saw that video, I just can't stop thinking about what she must be dealing with right now. So I'm praying for you, Erica, and I think a lot of us will be also. So as far as this little haul goes, it's really just a handful of products. Um, I've already done my foundation, which I think looks gorgeous right now, and it was a free sample, you guys. Um, I have this Dior Forever Skin Glow. I have a full size of the Forever Matte, but you know, they give you that little card, and I popped that out so I could use one. I'm wearing the shade... Um, 2N Neutral, and I just think, wow, that looks so pretty on the skin. I've got my concealer on as well. And then, um, something I got from Besame, it came in two separate pieces, the pan, and then this little compact with the cute little magnetic closure, it's so cute. This is their lavender powder. What do they actually call it? Oh, I think they call it their Violet Translucent Powder, um, and this is the Refill Plus Free Travel Compact. It was $18.50. But if you look at their face products, they have so many things. I hadn't realize they had all these pans of pressed product. We're talking blushes and just a variety of different setting powders, different tones, like so many things I didn't realize they had. Now in the past they had done some loose powders, like they had the violet loose powder, a pink toned one, and I think a beige one, and I remember raving about a trio that came out around the holidays for that. That was when they were still being sold on Sephora. But now they have a pressed violet powder, and I wanted to just like set my under eyes with this. Maybe I'll use my puff actually. Yeah, I'll use my little e.l.f. powder puff here and pick up some of that. And I've used this just kind of lightly uh, after the fact. It's like a setting powder all over my face at the end of my look, but I haven't really straight up just set the product with it. Ooh, that looks, I mean, if you look side to side, it's definitely brightening. But I just adore the little compact, and it does come with a powder puff too. Just one of those like really flat ones, you know. Okay, so if you really get some on your puff, you can kind of see the brightening effect. It's gonna go ahead and like set my T-zone with this too. I like that, that's super brightening. My under eye feels really, really smooth. I should have gotten a blush too. I love this little compact and it is again, magnetic closure, so cute. Okay, I've got some other steps of the face to finish and my brows as well, and then we'll move on to this little eye duo I got. Okay guys, so I continued on with my face steps. I used my Cheek the Mail palette from Benefit, which I love. Um, it's got Tara, blush, hula bronzer, and cookie highlight. So I have all those steps on my face in addition to the um, violet powder, which while it sets the under eye fine, I think I do most like it as like a finishing powder step. I see the most effect from it there. So like just dabbing into it with a little brush, like my Morphe under eye bullet brush, and then 
kind of coming in right here, kind of the way I use an hourglass powder. I don't know, I just feel the biggest impact from it in that way. But I did my brows with my e.l.f. Ultra Precise uh, Brow Pencil and NYX Control Freak Brow Gel. So next I'm just gonna prime my eyes with my Milani Eyeshadow Primer and I'm really excited about this little eyeshadow duo. So they have several and I remember when they came out, I think I saw them in an email and then just kinda sorta forgot. They've got four different really good looking eyeshadow duos. One looks like rich green. I got the plum, there's a brown one, and then there's a really soft beige as well. Other eye products they have, they do have um, eyeliner, they have the cake mascara, they have some lashes, and actually a bunch of brushes now. But this is the little compact that the eyeshadow comes in. It's kind of a little cardboard feeling compact, but it does have that magnetic closure. And then here is my beautiful plum duo. As you can see, one shade's got some shimmer, and we've got a dark one and I just thought yeah let's play with this for the first time today thought I'd take it for a little spin with all of you what I'm first gonna do with this duo is take a flat brush getting my other one cleaned off here I'm gonna go to this matte plum now I know Besame does really good quality eyeshadows Ooh, that's pretty because I've used some of their special palettes that they've done and I have them like really nicely displayed in my little like TV stand thingy over there. I've got like the Snow White palette, the Sleeping Beauty palette. Um, they do beautifully pigmented eyeshadows. They're just a high, high quality makeup brand across the board really. But they're not on Sephora anymore and that probably does affect their visibility to the public somewhat. Although I know, I'm sure they have a lot of loyal users, loyal customers. There's that plum. I just patted that matte one first all over my lid. And then I'm gonna take my crease brush with nothing exactly on it yet. I'm just blending over that a little bit. I think I'm gonna take a smaller brush, same shade, my small pointed brush. It's a really perfect plummy shade. Um, it's not too purple, but it's also not so dark that I can't tell it's plum. Really like that. I feel like I've seen some very uh, rich and plummy looking eyes put out there lately. I think this is kind of becoming like an it color. Like I've seen brands really advertising a richer, deeper eye in this plummy tone. Okay, so we're just pulling that up a little bit now with my small pointed brush and now I really have something to blend. My duo eyeshadow looks can be some of the best and easiest looks. Clinique makes a lot of duos that I love. But this is stunning. It really is pigmented. The texture here of this matte seems really soft, like I am tapping off a little bit of excess, not a huge amount. Then I'm gonna go to my shimmer right here with a smaller brush, my Morphe like small flat pointed brush. Oh, that's pretty. And that's a little lighter than I was expecting. I thought maybe that's gonna look kind of deep. Oh, it's really nice. Oh, that's lovely. I love the tone of that. It's like, it's kind of like if taupe and plum and champagne all had a baby. <laughs> there really is some beautiful brightness there. Purple's kind of understated, but really pretty. Man, now I really want to try another shade. The brown or the pistachio. Building up my mat just a little more now. Now that I kind of see where the, where the land lays. Ooh. As I did some blending, I felt like I might have dusted a little of the intensity away from the lid, so I'm just reapplying a smidge more of that. I love this. You know, it's classic, it's pretty, it's not too fussy. It probably looks like I spent way longer on it than I did. I now want to take a little bit of my matte, just with my small pointed brush, and continue that to the lower lash line. I mean, it's purple for someone who does not want to be too purple. Really love it. Absolutely love. Perfect textures, 
Love the tone. Just a really simplified look. It reminds you how simple your eye look can be, you know, and still be really complete looking. So I'm going to add in my liner and mascara, and then I'll come back and show you the lip colors I got. So finished up the eye. Um, what I put on my lash line is actually really close in tone to what I used in the eyeshadow look, just a little bit deeper. I use my Persona Liner in Plum. I love these Persona eyeliners. And by the way, the other day when I had worn one in the water, line. I was doing that look on camera, I believe. Was it the brown? It lasted so long. Like I spotted it still in the waterline late in the day. Like that wore really well. So I have this across my upper lash lines, just kind of providing a little bit of contrast, just deepening things up, maybe making my lash line look just a little bit thicker. And then I have Superhero Mascara on top, Cali Ray Come Hell or High Water, and then a light liner in the lower inner rim. That's my ABH Duo Pencil. So now, as far as the lip products go, I got a new lipstick that I hadn't seen before on their website. It's called Holiday Red. Holiday Red is the 1950 shade, by the way. So here's what that beautiful tube looks like. It's so reflective. It's probably hard to um, see all the designs. Besame lipsticks are just impeccably packaged. Take this off, you can see it says Besame down the side. Gorgeous, gorgeous. So yeah, 1950 Holiday Red. Um, if you browse their website, you can see you know, all the different shades. Again, it's very red heavy. Um, there's the Besame Red Lipstick, that's the 1920 shade. As far as some of my favorites, I love Red Hot Red. That's like the Marilyn Monroe Signature Red, that's 1959. Um, big fan of Dusty Rose, 1969. I was wearing that, I believe when I gave birth to Biddy. And then the 1970 shade Chocolate Kiss is really good as well. They also have a retractable travel lip brush. I have a lip brush as well that I've had for a long time from Besame. It looks different from what they have. This is just kind of has the lid, but I guess the new one is retractable. And then I also got their Master Liner Universal Red Pencil. Look how long this thing is. Cleaning off this lip brush. That's kind of gross to have a not clean lip brush. Okay, totally clean. All right, so I'm going to use this Holiday Red. How do they describe it, by the way? Inspired by the delicate glittering accents of 1950s light bright ornaments, our Holiday Red is a bright red lipstick with shimmering gold undertones. Oh, wow. Oh man, if you look super close, you can see a little shimmer in this one. I didn't even realize that. That's fabulously festive for the holidays. With its uniquely smooth gold pigment that isn't chunky or dry, the creamy formula is enriched with conditioning ingredients like squalane, aloe, and vitamin E to keep lips feeling velvety and supple. You'll find this shade staying in place through chilly winter nights, moments under the mistletoe, and that half a drink more of eggnog. Oh my gosh, I love it. It does have that subtle vanilla scent. It says meticulously formulated for sensitive skin. So we're going to do the little Besame method here. Now that I pick some up with the lip brush, I can see. Let's see how good the camera is. I don't know if you can tell, but there is a little golden fleck in this. So I'm going to apply it with a lip brush, and then I'm going to blot and do another application. And I'm just going to use the um, lip pencil for cleanup because I really want to see what this shade of lipstick is going to end up looking like, you know? That golden shimmer, I really can see it on the lips, like, big time. It's not like I'd call this super frosty or anything, but, like, I can see that glimmer, and it's beautiful, and it's adding some warmth to this color. When it was first going on kind of sheer, I thought, what is this shade? But it's definitely, with that shimmer, it's a warm-looking red. Make sure to do a precise cupid's bow. And you can definitely apply this stuff straight from the stick. But there's just something about really enjoying the process and putting on your Besame lipstick with a Besame lip brush. Blot it. Okay, we blot some off. And we apply some more. The shimmer is absolutely perfect. As far as like walking that line, it's not too much. It's not too frosty. I don't know that I have a lipstick. I'm sure I don't have a red lipstick that looks exactly like this. And then they say do that and blot again. Get a little bit off and you're going to have amazing staying power. Look at that. I don't think any of my other Besame Reds have 
any shimmer whatsoever in there. So that's really fun. And then I got this Universal Lip Liner. Let me pull that up, see what they say about it. Our founder was asked by top Hollywood makeup artists to bring back this legendary color, which has since achieved cult status in the industry and beyond. So let's see what the color actually turns out to look like. Okay. It seems a little deeper than your classic like fire engine red, but as a result, I bet it's gonna provide like a little nice definition. Are you sure it would look lovely on its own? And man, is this pencil long. Like I'm gonna have this for a while. But if my overall lip shade is pretty bold and I do, you know, really like the color, I'm not looking to alter the color. I like just using a little bit of lip liner just to be extra clean and defining, not to adjust the shade whatsoever. See that red being ever so slightly deeper. No, it's not giving that real outlined in a different color look, but it's so pretty. And I love that holiday red shade. I'm so glad I got that. I am gonna make this my holiday red. I love this shade. It's so much fun. It's got that little bit of shimmer. From a distance, you're just like, oh, red lip. And then you look up close, like, ooh, that's beautiful. Okay, so a very successful Besame mini haul here. This is your reminder to support Besame. They're doing amazing things. Super high quality products, beautiful products, the type that you want to have sitting out. I've got my Sleeping Beauty collection lipsticks like they're up here where I can always see them. Gosh, I don't even know what to say was my favorite thing. Like I'm really not sure I could pick. I love this violet powder, how brightening this is, you know, like just using it as a little touch up kind of thing. I did touch up with it the other day just like on my t-zone. I felt so glamorous. Like there's a feeling that comes along with using Besame makeup. Like a really glamorous, enjoying the process kind of vibe. You know what I'm saying? So I love that violet brightening powder. This duo was phenomenal. As far as plum shadow goes, I don't know if, how I could want anything more or anything better than that. And look how the plum is so subtle that I can feel confident and comfortable wearing that alongside a red freaking lip. I'm happy to have the lip liner pencil. I think that is going to come in handy and I'm going to definitely want to pull that out for different Besame reds that I use throughout the holidays. And the holiday red lipstick, the 1950 signature shade with that little bit of golden shimmer is so much fun. That might be, that might be the number one right there. All right, thank you guys so very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. I got a lot of requests when I asked recently on Instagram, what things do you want to be seeing on my channel more? I got an overwhelming amount of requests to bring back vlogs and you're in luck because I did purchase a vlog camera because now um, I edit with the editing software I use, I can't easily like just take video clips off my phone and put them on there. I feel like I'm gonna have to record them on a memory card and import them. So I need to use a separate, a separate mobile kind of camera. I wouldn't use the one that I'm using here in this room. So that'll be coming. I'll be working on it. Thank you guys so much for your time and I'll see you again soon. I love you. Bye.